All right, welcome to the video. Today, uh, this is our Meet of the Champions video. Today's Friday, we race Saturday. We're gonna be doing the mile, but today we're doing our pre-race. That means we have three miles and a little bit of strides and such, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Here's Cantu. Let's go. Let's get this, yeah, let's get this thing started. Sound like We're starting our pre-race, like all the other videos, guys. We got three miles, and now we're gonna go on the track. Probably do a couple 400s, a couple 200s. We have Hex screaming in the background for some reason. Wait, what, happened to, what happened to the GoPro thing? Oh yeah, I was gonna try and chest mount the GoPro, but I decided. It's so sad. <laughs> all right. No, it just wasn't it. So, yeah, but we're gonna get started. You guys want to go out that way? All right. Baseball through my window and danced in the street light. You built a metro out of your fixed bike. Deep in my room, you smash the TV on my nightstand. Complain how nothing ever ends until you take natural selection into your own hands. Stealing from the camera shops and running from the robocops. Yeah, I would fight them off for you. Hi guys, um, we're about to start our 400s and 200s. We got, uh, I'm going in two mile pace because I'm doing two mile, but Leo and the rest of the guys are doing the mile, so they're going mile pace for all that. We're doing two 400s and two 200s, I believe, right? That, That's it. Maybe you'll go less, if, people can go less if they need, but. Yeah, depending on how you feel. If you feel really bad, you can, you can not do one of them, but after that, it's a five, mi five minute cooldown, so it should be good. It's just yeah. Hey guys, we just finished our, our pre-race, the three miles, the two 400s, the two 200s, at whatever pace you're supposed to go. Now, I uh, gotta go recover, probably gonna get some coconut water with Cliff Bar for my recovery right now, and then get my good nine hours of sleep before the race tomorrow. I think my race is at night, like nine, or like eight o'clock maybe, so get ready for that, get some good breakfast, good luncheon, so I have a full stomach, full energized body. I drink a lot of water, hydrate tonight, right Lex? Hydrate yeah. tonight. <laughs> He's out of it right Sorry, now. Sorry guys, uh, you might have noticed I wasn't in that, um, in all those shots of us riding, I really did want to be, but I had some allergies come over me and, you know, you do what you can, but I still got the three mile shake out in, but uh, yeah, man, I think part of it was from the heat, part of it was from the pollen in the air, and when all those, when different factors come together, it gets pretty bad, so I just wasn't able to, don't worry guys, he'll, he'll, he'll be racing tomorrow, don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, I won't he'll, let he'll it affect me. Alright, we are all done with our pre-race. That means that it's time to go home, relax, have fun. Um, the whole goal now is just to really 
keep things super easy and relaxed. That way we can feel really good tomorrow. We're gonna eat really good food. We're gonna, gonna probably not go to bed too, too early because it is a night race, so you wanna sleep in. Um, so we can sleep in for a while. Get good sleep so we feel good tomorrow, and you'll probably catch up with us at the pre-race. But make sure to stay tuned uh, till the end so you can uh, see the giveaway that we're gonna do. All right, morning of the race. You know what that means. Quick little shake out. The point of this is just to get the blood flowing and get your legs moving. I find it just helps me, I mean, maybe if it even just helps me wake up, but allows me to go into the day and go into the race feeling a little bit more prepared. So we're gonna do that now. It's actually a really nice morning. If you can tell, I, I still kinda, I like just woke up, but look at that. The whole town's there and it's like, you can see the town and it's like foggy. run now like Will said it's just like a five minute shake out but we'll use it as an opportunity to tell you guys what the plan is for tonight so this is going to be the meat of the champions it's a pretty awesome meat I think I've never raced it before but uh, Nico raced it when he was a junior he ran the mile I think 407 and that was a really awesome race to watch I remember it being super great atmosphere super exciting but yeah, that's basically the plan for us. We're gonna go out there and try and race a really fast mile. So, yeah, it's gonna be a full mile, not a 1600, not a 1500. And the goal is we're gonna have Colin help us. He's gonna be, he already would have raced the 800 because him and Aaron and Adam are racing the 800. But then he's gonna come back and help pace us. So that's gonna be like, and hopefully around that like 60, 61 pace. Yeah. So it should be pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've just finished making my breakfast. I'm excited to eat it. It is oatmeal and I know you guys are probably thinking well yeah of course that's what you said you're gonna eat in your uh, what you eat in a day video but it's a little bit different now that I'm actually home to cook it because there when I was traveling you know I was limited by what ingredients I had at the house and how I could cook it but here at my home it's like you know it's uh I already have everything I need because it's what I make pretty much every day so the oatmeal is a little bit different. It's just plain oats, just plain instant oats, no flavoring. Uh, and then I'm on top of that, I have a whole banana sliced up, then some blueberries, raspberries, some peanut butter, and some honey for sweetener. And then, uh, yeah, so that's this is what it looks like. All right, we're at the meet now. It's just after five, it's 5.30 p.m. That means we race in just over two hours. So we have a little over an hour till we warm up. And the goal right now is to relax, hang out. We're feeling good because we've just been relaxing all day. It was a bit of a drive over, but we're doing good. Let's see what Sean has to say about the meet in general. I don't know, it's another year at Azusa Meet of Champions. I'm excited to run fast. Once the sun goes down, the wind will die. I'll finish my bubbly. And uh, yeah, we'll get ready to roll, it'll be fun. All right, you heard it from Sean Brosnan himself. <laughs> Aaron Solomon, the legend in the making. We're gonna be running the 800. Aaron, Colin, and me. It's gonna oh. be exciting. That's and a uh, nasty combo, that's gonna be good. I'm feeling it. Way to go, Mr. Solomon. That's four seconds off my last 800. That was a 158. 
So uh, it's going down pretty quickly. So by the end of the season, hopefully it'll be like 150. But you know, it's a work in progress. Sean's gonna get me right. And, and it's gonna be another great LNL video because every video is pretty phenomenal. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm pretty impressed with it because, you know, the editing, all the effects, uh, the music, the cuts, it's just spot on. So I'm really excited to see what LNL has to do in the future. So we shall see what's next.
getting started. We're waiting for Chris right now. Chris Cardillo. He's getting the cool down with us. Cool down complete. Yep. Chris. Yeah. We got the little cousin right here, Charlie, and our Hi. friend Halo. Hi. They're youth runners. <laughs> All right. Sunday morning, the day after the race. Uh, boy, I'm a little bit tired. My legs are a little bit sore. I think like it's a lot of it's like my muscles are kind of tight from everything, and maybe I didn't sleep the best because I had some caffeine in me, but that's okay. Um, today we're just gonna go for like a super easy long run on our own, just for fun. We got, it's me, we got Colin, uh, Aaron, Daniel, and of course Lex behind the camera. But um, we're just gonna go out there and do like a super, super easy 12 miles, just to like shake everything out and get sort of like the time on feet that you try to get from a long run, so. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, we'll probably talk a little bit about the races and stuff in the meet throughout the, the run and get you some like running interviews. So stay posted for that because that's gonna be pretty cool. But yeah. Oh yeah, and then don't forget about the giveaway at the end because that's gonna be sick too. Sorry that it was not enough. Just bit my condition in your cup. A mission to start a catalog. Struggle against the second law. I'm sorry that it was just too much. To stitch up my lips when I lose touch. The curtain collapsed like cloud white light. There's no one behind those emerald eyes. Check. Never think about it again. So I wanna tell all my friends. Everyone you know is a projection Sipping on a tonic straw Read the book that you recommend So I out at the end Everyone the back just has to flicker When their batteries run low Summer explodes with certainty But nobody knows you kill the bees Yeah, I'll shot the judge on Sunset Street Never think about it again So I gotta tell all my friends Everyone you know is a protection Sipping on a tonic straw I'd rather put the two like a man So I wanna look at the end Everyone in my house has to flicker When their batteries run low I'm here with, I'm joined by Colin and Aaron Solomon, the new titans of the 800. Um, let's just, so, I believe Colin, you took it out and you paced most of it, correct? Yeah. And Aaron, you sort of were hanging right on Colin's tail, right? Yep. And then, what, how, what was really fun to watch was at what point, Aaron, did you start to try to pass Colin? 200. 200 to go? Yeah. Okay. Uh, were you ever fully ahead of him? No, I, think at, I think at one point he came right up to my side. I think it was like 70 meters or something. Yeah, like 70 meters to go, I think. Yeah. He was right up next to you. Yeah. So that was super interesting because it's been a while since we've seen Aaron have the upper hand on Colin. I mean, granted, Colin is a year older, but that was pretty cool to see that challenge. All right, now uh, I'm going to ask Leo some questions. How does it feel to be so close, to feel, to see sub four but not get it? It's so painful. <laughs> I remember finishing and coming in and seeing the clock change and I was like, come on, come on, I'm so close, I'm so close. And then I saw it turn four as I was finishing, I was like, nope, I'm so mad. It always happens to me. It's okay. Yeah. All right. All right, so 
12 miles done. Just finished getting uh, my recovery. Uh, yeah, it's it was nice. It was beautiful temperature, beautiful weather. I mean, uh, what, what would you say, like 75? Maybe we're on some nice trails. Saw the waterfall. It was it was it was a fun run. I love Sunday runs like this. But uh, yeah, this is about to wrap up the video. But right before we uh, cut to the outro, we're gonna explain to you guys the giveaway. So yeah, we're teaming up with Firefly to do a giveaway. They make the blood simulation uh, recovery devices that go around your knee. It's great for recovery. Increase your blood flow, flow by 400% and we're going to be giving away three starter packs. So all you got to do is you just got to comment down below in the video. Just comment what you hope to do this season and then make sure you go head over to Instagram. Follow my Instagram, Leo's Instagram and Firefly. We'll have all the directions right here and in the description so you guys can do it. But yeah. It's, they're great stuff. I love using them, so check it out. And you got a great chance of winning with three, so uh, yeah, but great race this time. And hope you guys really enjoyed the video. We love making them for you guys. We have we have a lot more coming. We always uh, always trying to make that next one, try and improve, make them better. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.